Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. Well, anyway, uh, I'm not going to cover this whole thing because it's like an hour long. Mm -mm -mm. There's a whole lot of Jordan commentary. I'll give you the the link to um, Jordy's video so that you can watch it directly and get all of his commentary and everything. Um, I'll, I'll capture a little bit of it. But um, Eugenia, okay, so... Jadedness and revoke. Love you dearly, girls. Um, but you you really gotta get careful with your over dramatics about shit. So um, Jaded was passing around a video earlier over the last like 24 hours or something about um, some sort of lawyers that were coming hard for anybody who's ever done a Eugenia video, right? And it would be context, content strike. If, if you have ever done a video. Well, I sat on this knowledge because I... Ladies, I know that you have dived into conspiracy theories before that did not pan out. What I observed overnight is that several of my videos were demonetized. Not a big deal. I don't care. Um not whatever you know if she's trying to make sure that react channels can't react to her well that's a stupid ass thing to do because it's a cyclical symbiotic sort of relationship where she actually gets more viewers by having us talk about her but whatever okay so let's let's dive into the Jordy footage Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. Today we are going to be taking a look at what seems like Eugenia's last day in Disney World. She has returned with about 12 to 14 minutes of footage on her last day in Magic Kingdom. So we're going to take a little listeny poo into what she has to say and then I want to chit chat a little bit about what you all had to say regarding the TikTok video that we took a look at in the last episode of she and her mom having lunch. So let's jump on into this. Hard last couple months. But with all of that, I've been really trying to stay as positive as I can and just trying to focus on my life and, you know, do the best I can with everything. And sometimes I know the world can just seem like such a dark place, but I really feel like coming here, you just really meet so many genuinely kind people. And really everyone here from like the room service people to all the people working at the parks and just so many people that I've been meeting around to too. It's just so wonderful to see so much kindness in the world. And I also really want to thank you guys on here who have been... Oh my. Oh dear. Yeah, seriously. I mean, basically she's like, oh my gosh, you have a job at Disney and you're being very nice to me. How surprising. Um... Is she really that detached from reality that she doesn't realize that people who get hired at Disney are hired as such because of their ability to have really top-notch customer service? Even down to the, you know, ho hospitality staff that, you know, is, like, cleaning your rooms and stuff. Like... Everybody goes through a rigorous interview process 
And she's like, oh, they all just love me. They're all just so nice to me. These are such nice people. Um. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Um. I, uh, being in Southern California, I've known several people who have worked for Disney before, and they have put on their Disney persona for me to show me what it is to, to, like, work for Disney. <laughs> it's scary. Eugenia, you're hilarious. She does not know how to discern what a real um, interaction with humans is. <laughs> she just, she can't, she can't fucking figure that out. Uh, because she's so detached from the world that she doesn't know what it is to just meet somebody in the wild and have a nice interaction and maybe have a follow-up, right? But in, in the videos that she took in this Disney thing, um, she's constantly praising everybody because they're like, oh my gosh, I follow you on Instagram. I follow you on TikTok. Okay, so you had like a five second interaction with a fan. You have no idea what that person's real personality is like. But you're just assuming they must be the most amazing person ever. Right? Okay. Uh, let's skip ahead. Because he's going to go into lengthy um, conversation about this. And I don't always agree with Jordy. Okay, let's see what this part of the video entails very kind and very respectful to you and when you have been showered with sympathy and a plea for people wanting to help you over the years you have taken those people's emotions and you have spat on them and you have told people that oh i hear you but i, I that's okay no thank you thank you but no thank you so no, not only no thank you, um, now I'm going to show off my skeletal body and uh, work out inappropriately showing my fan base um, moves that they should not be doing because they could actually hurt their bodies and uh, lifting up skeleton dumbbells um, but overextending her ankles and her knees to do what is supposed to be squats oh my god like she's so off her rocker in the sense of well I can prove that I can move my body we don't have any doubt that you can't move your body but you cer certainly can't move it properly that was not proper exercise okay it's one thing to ignore the sympathy. It's another thing to turn around and throw that in people's faces and make a mockery of it. Picking up s skeleton dumbbells and using them in a workout routine to troll the people that have been pouring their heart out to you in the comments. So I just don't necessarily think it's very fair for you to come on here and say, well, I wish that people on the Internet would be more kind to me. She has such a distorted view of what kindness is that it doesn't register with her. That's because she's never received it directly. Her, her entire world is, is the Internet. So, everything that she associates with kindness is just people offering her praise when she's online with them. To the point that even when they're insulting her and making fun of her, she's like, but they're still giving me attention. Right, Golden Showers? It's, it's good or bad. 
it, it is. It's good or evil. It's black and white. That's all it is. Jeffrey's good. Everyone else is evil. Unless you let her allow herself to live the life that she wants to live, you're a hater. You're jealous. You don't like her. Fill in the blank. Which is the exact opposite. For people that are coming on and trying to provide you with resources, personal testimonies, trying to get to know you, trying to get to help you, that's true kindness. That's true friendship. Not Jeffree Star laughing at you at 7 a.m. talking about a golden shower and sending you PR pa- People showing up to your house when you're ill and giving you food and, you know, sustenance and things that you need because it's too physically difficult for you to get out of the house and actually do it yourself. Or maybe you're in a pandemic and you need some space and people want to drop off things for you and they drop it off for you and uh, stay at the bottom of your staircase, which is what has happened with me. That is true kindness, okay? What you experience in having somebody say, oh, I follow you online. That's not true kindness. Give me a break. Packages of makeup. That's not friendship, Eugenia. But the people that have poured their heart out to you and have been there for you and shown you a great deal of sympathy over the years, they feel very disrespected by you. So... I mean, people are patient, and I feel like people have been patient with you, but you've been around on the internet for over 10 years now. Um, I, I, I mean, I just, I, I don't... Let's move forward. Give me a second. Okay, let's see where we landed. Side, though. I've heard that Magic Kingdom and Epcot have the best fireworks. When I went back in December, I did oh fireworks god. at Epcot. Oh my god. Epcot's fireworks are so cool because at one point... And I saw war. Just being so nice and everything. Oh my. She so wants to thank people for sending in gifts, but they can't give her a gift. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for the rose. Thank you so much for the heart hands. Thank you so much for the bracelet. Thank you so much for the galaxy. She can't do any of that. So she just keeps repeating the same three things. Thank you for being kind. Thank you for watching the stream. And thank you for double tapping. Mm. Um, and yeah, I really, really appreciate you guys. Hi, Maria. How are you? Hi, Carolina. How are you? Come on and scream, guys. Thank you, thank you, Michael, for being here. I miss you, Michael. I miss you guys all in live so much. I miss battling my friends. I miss a lot, but, you know, just kind of trying to do my best. And, yeah, we are at Disney, guys. Yes, we're heading to the fireworks right now. Does anyone know what time it is on the East Coast? Because, like, I'm on live, and I do not know the time. Of course. So yeah, does then okay, wait, 841? Okay, the fireworks are starting in like a couple minutes. Thank you guys for telling me. <laughs> um Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, Disney's been awesome. Excuse me. Hi! Are you on TikTok? Yeah. Oh, my, I follow you. you do? Yeah. Oh my gosh, thank you. That's so sweet. By the way, he questions, he ultimately questions, like, where are they in the parks? Because he recently went to Disney World as well to uh, spend some vacation time with his family. And if I was taking a wild guest here, uh, she is walking from her hotel to a location where her mom is. Um, so to my mind, they probably are directly in front of Magic Kingdom, 
and their hotel is probably within walking distance of Magic Kingdom and that's why there's some water around but she doesn't have to get on those little boats to cross the the, the water or the take the um, monorail to get there because she's probably like halfway between on that lake that is in front of Magic Kingdom and they're probably not even going in the park because none of them like crowds right so they're just sitting in front of Magic Kingdom watching the fireworks that's my guess this is what I'm this is what I'm talking about y'all this is what I say when we're in here and we're seeing her get gifts and everything and I say this is you know little Cindy Lou Who with her mom's credit card, we're seeing it in real time right now. Did you hear that person's voice when they walked up to her, when they approached her and said, hi, are you on TikTok? That person sounds like they're nine. We're going to listen to that again. Yeah, but so does Eugenia. So how do you gauge that? You know, if there's a bunch of grown ass women out there, who are speaking as though they're toddlers, what are you going to do? I, I can't say that that was a child. I, I cannot confirm nor deny if that was a child. Um, I mean, I know that we have had this discussion in the past in previous episodes, and I acknowledge that the people sending Eugenia money aren't solely children, um, just because when I think of TikTok, I think of Gen Z or the generation before Gen Z. I don't even know what they're called. Gen Alpha. Is that what they're called? Whatever. But I, I do. It's like kids. So kids are the people seeing Eugenia for the most part. And kids are not fully developed. They're still figuring themselves out. So this is what I'm talking about when they are exposed to certain types of content and being the impressionable young people that they are sometimes adopting what they see on the internet into their own life. This is just a little bit, I don't know, concerning for me to see or to hear little Madison approach Eugenia at Disney World and say, are you on TikTok? Thanks for telling me. Um, oh, thanks, man. Yeah, Disney's been awesome. Excuse me. Hi. Are you on TikTok? Yeah. Oh, I follow you. You do? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. That's so sweet. Yeah, she was, like, really? Oh, that's so nice. What's your name? Can I take a picture? Of course. Yeah. Well, what's your name? Madison. Madison? Oh, Madison, it's nice to meet you. Hi. Yeah, let's do it. I hope it came out okay. Yep. Yay! See, like, this is how you would talk to a child, but Eugenia talks to everyone like this. You know, th like, the... <laughs> You know, like, oh, what's your, what's your name? Hi. Oh, my gosh. Are you excited to be in Disney World? That's because she wants to be a Disney princess. She, she loves going on these Disney adventures because she kind of low-key is jealous of the Disney princesses, the ones who are dressed up in the park. Uh, who actually show their face, you know, they don't have like the giant Minnie or Mickey costumes on, anything like that, they're, they're just wearing a, a, you know, like a ball gown and some heavy makeup and looking like Cinderella or Snow White or whatever it is. Um, she would love that, except that she doesn't have the stamina to do it because she hasn't ever held a full-time job. Wow, look at your dress. You look incredible. Like, that's how you would talk to a six-year-old. <laughs> but you, <laughs> like, Eugenia talks to everybody like that. <laughs> Aww, thank you so much. 
Oh my gosh, of course. It's really nice to meet you guys. Have a great night. Aw, she was so sweet, you guys. Okay, sorry. I wanted to say hi to her. Oh my god, that's exactly what she said about the employee that she just met. The one that didn't want to take a photo with her. She was so nice. She was so sweet. She was so kind. Oh boy. Take a photo. Cassandra, thank you for the follow. Yeah, she was super sweet. Their fam yeah, their whole family seemed really, really nice. Yeah, and it's kind of That's what she says about everybody. Everybody is super sweet. Jeffree Star is so super sweet. Nicest guy ever. She does not have a large vocabulary and she doesn't have range for um, her character analysis of the people around, around her. You met them for five seconds. It's, it's like a seven-year-old girl. What, what do you mean she seems really sweet? <laughs> I have been in therapy since I was six years old. My parents said we want her to be emotionally intelligent and that I am. I never stopped going to therapy. I'm a therapy <laughs> Whatever. Them. I love meeting people in person, so it's always really nice when people send and meeting a lot of nice people here, which has been cool. She was super sweet. Hi, Bing Bong. Wow, you're from Ireland? That's awesome. I hope I'm going the right way. Yesterday, I like somehow went the wrong way. I was like, what am I doing? Oh, Jocelyn, I love you too. Hi, Link. You're from Texas? Nice. I've actually never been to Texas before, but... It does seem like a pretty cool state. Oh, thank you, Purple Haze. I've been having a great time here. What do you mean it's a pretty cool state? You know nothing about it. You've never been there before. Why continue on and do that kind of bullshit when you've never been there before? Like some of us actually have traveled to Texas and our experiences weren't great. Give me a break. Yeah, Disney is a great place to be. So, yeah, um, I've kind of been to a lot of states. Oh, yes, I have been to Texas. I don't know what I'm saying. Sorry. Um, I haven't spent a ton of time in Texas. I kind of literally just stayed there like one day when I was going like cross country, but it was cool. Oh, my mom's like, remember to charge her. Was Texas nice, sweet, and kind? Or was it just cool? Yeah, I got it. Um, guys, we have 300,000 likes. What? Hey, thank you, everybody. Oh my God, I just came on to say hi. What's that? Wait, that's crazy. Um, in the remaining portion of this video, it will freeze up a lot. So just know it's not this video you're watching right now. It's the video that I'm reacting to. Oh, thanks. And thank you everybody also that's been sharing the live and stuff. I'm going to end it soon. Um, oh my gosh, I really hope I'm going the right way for the fireworks. Thank you, Rachel. <laughs> yeah, it's it's been a nice night so far. It's actually not that cold out. It, she's been there for like seven days, you guys. You would think that after seven days of staying in a resort where much of it is walking... Some of it is taking boats. Some of it is taking the monorail. Some of it is maybe taking buses to other parks. That she would have her bearings somewhat. So by day seven to be confused is kind of bullshit. Just nice. Um, and I think I am going the right way to the fireworks. Thank God. I don't want to mess them up. I'm doing good, Sapphire. How are you? Your hair is beautiful. Thanks. It's actually really messy right now. Like, one thing with today is it has been kind of, like, breezy. Like, it's been windy. Oh, boy. Look who joined the live. Our BFF, Gen X Retrograde. Okay. <laughs> It's going to be even windier once I get to the fire. But they are beautiful. So, you know. 
Yeah, I'm in the the world, guys. So yeah, I'm in Florida. Yeah, I like Disney too, Sarah. I love Disney. Disney's the best. Okay, I think the fireworks are like just starting, so I'm literally just getting here in here in time. I don't think she actually loves it as much as she says. I think her mom loves it. That's why they have so many Disney knickknacks around the house. I don't think she's buying any of that because whenever she does like a house tour, she doesn't point these things out and say, this one's mine, this one's mine, blah, blah, blah. She's always talking about ours or, you know, it, it really is Deb who has the, the Disney fetish here where she wants to go to Disney all the time. She wants to buy the knickknacky things. And, um, I mean, there's lots of people out there like that who are just, they just have kind of a Disney fetish. And, um, they want to go to the parks not only to have their youthful experiences relived, but to um, buy memorabilia because a lot of it ends up being worth some money if you keep it over time. And I'm sure Deb knows that. In here in, here in time. Oh, I'm so glad you guys like the Mickey ears. They look cool at night, don't they? I think so. Oh my God, those Mickey ears are expensive. I got a pair of Mickey ears and they're actually within arm's length distance from me right now. Um, guess how much like freaking Mickey, mini ear, Mickey ears are? Like Marley and I got Mickey ears when we went in December. Like, just like like stupid little thing to put on your head. Like guess like I think that this was thirty five dollars. I'm not. Oh yeah, Jordy went way cheap. When I got um, Mickey ears for my dad and his mate, um, I got like the real Mickey ears, the the hat, and had their names embroidered on the back of the hat that's that's how you normally do it if you're going to disneyland it's like a once thing that you do you you do it like once and then that's it but i had two hats made up for my dad and his partner and um i don't recall it costing me $70, but this was back in the mid aughts so perhaps they've gone up in price. Shitting you. $35. And, I mean, this, this is just like a very plain Jane, boring looking Mickey ear thing. If you were to get like the bedazzled ones like she's wearing, I'd imagine they'd be more. So, yeah. That would be considered a headband. That's not even like what traditionally have been considered Mickey ears, but okay. Disney's a pretty penny. Aw, thanks for saying my makeup is so pretty. Thank you, I got on the Jeffree Star Weirdo palette today, guys. One of my faves. So yeah, I love this palette. Did she just say the Jeffree Star Weirdo palette? Probably. Weirdo. <laughs> God, he'll name his makeup anything. <laughs> oh, KT! Are you one of the people I just met? You were so sweet. It was so awesome getting to meet you. It was so awesome getting to meet you. You were so awesome getting to meet you. Are you guys seeing the fire? I don't know why that part repeats so many times. And Jordy is unfazed by it, so it must be genius footage that fucked up. It works if you're in Disney. <laughs> I'm like heading there right now. Oh, thanks for saying my voice is magical, Darcy. I'm glad that my voice doesn't annoy you too much. Okay, I see my mom. I'll oh my god, it's Law. What the fuck? <laughs> She takes a compliment and immediately turns it into an insult. Wow. 
Oh my god, Eugenia. That's exactly what Salar was doing to fucking Chantel last week. Where he jumps into her chat and just starts trying to rile her up about shit that people have said about her. Oh my god, Eugenia. Can you shut the fuck up and just enjoy the compliments? See if she wants to say hi to you guys, and then I'm ending. I, I brought her charger. <laughs> Deb, you had better say hi to us. I would like to be said hello to by Deborah Cooney. I really would. <sighs> Say hi to the live, right? I think I'm gonna end now. Hey, live. Oh, you wanna say hi? hi Here's my Why would you address her like that? I don't know. Like shooting it down as you're saying hi to her. You you don't wanna say hi, right? R like, I'm just gonna assume that you don't want to, right? <laughs> oh my god. You know, the, okay, stupid sidebar, but, um, I used to when I would when I was younger and I would go to restaurants and Nah, we'll skip ahead of this boss shop. Oh yes, let's get to the lunch. Okay. So um Three reasons why you need this I don't get to see my ears very often. Isn't this an interesting phenomenon going on? I have Okay, so Eugenia apparently sometime in March went to New Hampshire and filmed this very uncomfortable lunch to I don't know if it was by her own volition um, because she clearly seems very challenged by doing this footage and she, she sat on it for a long time before releasing it to the public. Um, her lip quivers when she brings food to her mouth. And it's unconvincing that she actually took a sip of her drink. That she did more than bite into half of a fry. And even when she puts the lobster roll up to her face, it doesn't look like she's really taking a bite. Ears, yes I do. I have legs too. Do you want to see my legs? Maybe another video. Okay, so largely um, the comments and the attitude toward this video were leaning in one direction. Uh, that this video was all for show. A lot of people felt that this video was to troll. Maybe the whole Bible reading wasn't enough to get her, her TikTok remonetized. You know, what's so oddly coincidental is the night before I saw this footage for the first time, I just randomly had a craving for a lemonade and I stopped and got eliminated in fries. This is so weird. Station back, so maybe she's just trying a bunch of different things to get it back. Kind of like a throw enough shit at the wall until something sticks sort of approach. But um, largely what I saw in the comments is the body language and her being repulsed. Um, that the repulsion is a result of fear of something that she obviously does not want to be doing. It's that alert, alert, alert going off in her head. Um, it was painful to watch. I can imagine that if you are someone that has gone through this, watching this video was probably difficult for you. There were some people in the comments that paid personal testimony to that. And, um... It's just when you see things like what we just saw with the microscopic bite and then this and then the short jump cuts of the video, we're kind of left to believe, I mean, did any of this really happen? I mean, the video being cut short between bites like that, um, 
I don't really know what to think about it. There was also a lot of things about the lemonade in the comments being made too, that some people felt that there was no lemonade going up through the suction portion of the straw. <laughs> I don't really care to play Nancy Drew with all of this of like whether or not there was lemonade in the straw or whether or not like a French fry was actually consumed or maybe she just bit into it and then cut the camera or whatever. Regardless, the overall tone of the comments is they felt that this video was performative. This was not genuine. This was not done because she wanted to do it. It was done all as a ploy to get a means to an end. Um, so I would have to ask you ladies um, who are trying to st scare the community right now about content strikes against um, doing Eugenia reacts then why did Jordy double down and start producing even more videos where are you getting your information from it, it's look I love you ladies I love some of the stuff that you cover but um, it's getting a little out of hand someone also brought up that this video would have been better had she provided a little bit more context that this kind of just kind of uh, arbitrarily threw this up like she knows the type of controversy that surrounds her as a public figure on the internet so to just nonchalantly and act so blasé as to post a video of her going to lunch with no context or anything, it kind of came across as a little bit confusing. Um, one person in the comments felt that this video would have meant more if she would have addressed the elephant in the room, kind of came out and directly said, uh, hey, you guys, you're about to see something I normally don't make in terms of my content. This is really difficult for me, but I'm kind of giving like a... By the way, okay, so if you've seen it uninterrupted by Jordy's commentary, uh, there is a point at which the wait staff give them a complimentary salad in addition to the salad that they had already ordered that's a weird choice, I would say. So if they are such regulars to this particular restaurant and the staff already know what they've ordered, why would they give them a secondary salad? But the only other thing I can say about that salad is it had egg in it. So maybe they were hoping to get some protein in Eugenia's body little bit of context for it instead of just saying oh yeah this is me this has always been me this is what i do everyday things that other people do and kind of just pass it off as normal that something we would always see um some people went on to say that that kind of felt like they were being treated like they're stupid that eugenia is very 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 aware of what people say about her and the problems that surround her as a person on the internet and to just kind of throw up this video willy-nilly and act like it's nothing it kind of makes people feel like they're being ignored like they don't they don't feel that they're being heard or they're just kind of being gaslit and that's something that eugenia has been accused of time and time again is the whole gaslighting thing so i think that that's a very fair approach to it um if you're known for something on the internet and then you just go and do the exact opposite and then don't provide any context for it and just, you know, act like it's blasé everyday activities, I can see how that comes across to some people as if they're being treated like they're stupid. And a specific comment was made in this video in which they said they're not upset with Eugenia specifically they're not upset with the denial they're not upset with the condition they don't like to be treated like they're stupid and that's been a running theme with Eugenia she treats people like they're crazy she treats people like 
everything that is coming out of their mouth is some sort of other language or as if they're making some suggestion that doesn't need to be made. So I think it would go a long way with Eugenia's relationship with her audience to acknowledge what people have to say and respond to it and not respond to it with things like, oh, no, that, that's that's crazy talk. I don't know what you're talking about. No, everything's fine. Every- okay, so you've seen now the the lunch footage. Not all of it, because he did cut out the complimentary salad. But you've seen most of it. So let's get to this... Um, Thing that that Jadenus and Revoke were pumping out that I think was unfortunate because it just um, is intended to scare the React community and I don't think it was actually fact-based. Okay, um, let's get into this dire warning that I woke up to. Eugenia's lawyers are coming for everyone who re-uploads any of her content. That includes any YouTube channel who uses her videos regardless if it's good or bad. Six channels have already been contacted and their uploads were nice content about Eugenia. So fair warning, no more clips of Eugenia will be allowed on anyone's channel unless you want a lawsuit against you. Eugenia is not playing. She doesn't want channels reloading her move, nor her copyrighted content. I'm sure Jeffrey is helping her and he has connections. So we woke up to this dire warning and um, we also had Jordy out there producing more content so I don't know what the hell they're talking about but this is not the first time these ladies have circulated false information ladies I I kindly ask that you do a little more research before you start doing shit like that not cool